Hello and welcome to episode 34 of my Planet Explorers tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on doing the next quest in the chain which is Fruity Trip and it means talking to Governor Skyrunner. So let's do that. Hello. I want to talk about establishing a trade mechanism between our colonies. We're not going to be able to produce everything we require amongst ourselves. So, we need to figure out how we can exchange the extra produce in a fair way. I've contacted Lucius Kohler a while ago and told him to come here by the monorail. He sometimes masquerades as an economist. He'll be here in a bit. Okay. So this is just the first little quest link that I've got to go through to get to the fruity trip. While we're waiting, what do you plan to do about Ryong? I'm pretty sure coups are against colony regulations. Hmm, I'm pretty sure too. There's not much I can do. While Mr. Hook still listens to me, most of our citizens believe in Ryong and our fleet. If I were to order the arrest of Ryong, I would cause a serious split within the Martian community, and we don't want that. He's also not a bad guy. He just wants the best for some of us. And here's Lucius. Ah, there he is. We are just talking about setting up trade between our colonies. I know you have some suggestions about it. Oh, well now. I am indeed the appropriate person to deliberate this with. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. Excesses and deficiencies are a part of life. We can either neglect it, or we can inventory our surpluses and needs into a public spreadsheet so that we can profit from it efficiently. Now that we have this rail thing going, it's possible to. I don't suppose you have this already written. Of course. I've already written the necessary codes to incorporate into the colony control interface. Can we have a please? Of course, Governor. Anything to prolong our existence. And it should be effective now. Okay. Let me elucidate on the details. For this to work, we'll need to first establish a real currency. Using an item with an expiration date was as imbecilic an idea as there ever was. While we might be sentimental to the currencies of our distant abodes, it's imperative that we use a local format. I've decided to call it the Mari. Okay. I have arbitrarily set it to one meat, one Mari. It's easier to remember that way. Secondly, from now on, each of our colonies will set up a trading post. We'll exhibit our wares for exchange at such a place. Here's the script for the trading post. Excellent. We've already configured the trading post on our end, so whenever you have it, we'll Okay, so that's that first bit of text gone through. Let's now talk to the governor again. Hi. Did the Epiphany receive any communication from the Martian fleet while in flight? If they sent any signal at all, I'm not aware of it. I would imagine they're flying in radio silence until they get far enough in the system that they could do anything about it. We did receive news from both Mars and Earth during the flight, which you are not aware of. That's a bit disconcerting, but still. Okay, so that's it, text-wise, with uh, the governor. But you notice on the map there's another purple quest, so we talk to a Tauri. What's up? That's weird, I talk to him and, and they pop up. Oh, Can well. I help you? I think that's all the topics up for discussion. Anyone else have more to add? Thank you for coming by, Governor. Why don't you stay here for a bit and check out our colony? I like that as a topic. I like it very much. Just come with me, Governor. I'll show you around. You too, Lucius. Nice. Okay, let's talk to him again. Hey. I see nothing wrong with the idea. It has advantages to all of us. Here's a standard trade post script. Help us set one up in the colony. At the moment the trade post goes live, we'll switch over to Maori currency. Okay, so once you set up the trade post, you will be able to buy any item that you've seen before in a colonist shop. So the more shops you visit, the more items will show up in the trade post. 
Okay, well I've already built a trade post over there, so let's continue. Oh, saving. Hi. So, about our overture to the natives. Remember they had this grand peace offering idea. I am not too comfortable with us just going up to a group of natives and waving hello. But what else can we do? I also don't want to start out with a show of force. So why don't just you and Axe go to the nearest camp and do exactly as we've discussed. Drop off a fruit offering and see their reaction. Maybe they'll consider us less of a threat from that. Mm. Let's not be so pessimistic now. We won't know until we try. But be careful out there. Don't do anything rash and shoot back if you have to. This isn't a suicide mission. Fruit delivery. I Okay, so we've got the quest, Fruity Trip. Deliver some fruit to the Pujan camp. So, if I look in my pocket, I've got to get some fruit now. Um, because I do not believe I've got any. I've got lots of shovels. Um, but I don't think I've got any fruit. I've got salad and I've got rice. Native flatbread. There's the trade pro script, so let's see if I can get some fruit out of the storage. Wow, this rain is getting loud in game. Sorry about that. I thought I turned it up so you could hear what the NPCs were saying. Okay, let's find the trade post I've made. There it is. Let's use it and see if we can get any fruit from here. Um, where will the fruit be? Consumables, I'm guessing. Let's have a look at the service charge of 15%. Mm, okay, well, we can deal with that. Let's just check, is it repaired? Yep, that's at full health. Always handy to keep checking that. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's any for sale. What about in my storage? So I'm possibly going to have to go to a shop to buy the fruit. Unless it's a quest item that's in my pocket. Let's have a look. Mission. I've got the bones, I've got these queen eggs still. Probably don't need none of this stuff, so I haven't got anything in there. Oh, I don't know if I've got fruit in there. Goodness sake, I've got so many items in this bit of my pocket now, it's just ridiculous. I've just got tons of stuff. Where do we find fruit? Let's click back on the colony and the storage and let's check some more got mushrooms, nuts, cucumber, carrots, vegetables hmm, I think that says Oh, is this fruit? No, oh, no, it's pumpkins. Is pumpkin a fruit? No, I, I don't. Suppose, oh, I don't know. I don't know whether it classes it as. I don't. I doubt it. Well, it's actually. Let's just instantly see. So if I put my inventory there, and I grab a stack, let's see if it updates. Uh, maybe I've just got to go to the Pugin camp. So let's try that. See what happens. Because it might just pull it on the ground for me. You know, I might have the fruit already. And I don't want to waste time. So if we look at the map, up here is where the Pugin camp is. 
I could travel to the Martian camp, but this is a closer, the natives relics, so let's travel there. Not enough currency to supply fast travel. What on earth is it talking about? Oh no, it's switched over to the mall. Uh, so now I can't use meat anymore. Okay, how do I get mall? Let's turn the map off. Oh, well this is a surprise. I didn't expect this. Of course, this is the first time I'm running through all of this side of the quest. Um, I'm imagining I've got to do it through the trade post to get some mall by selling some items. Um, so let's bring up my pocket and try and make some sense of this. Okay, can I sell these to the trade post? Uh, selling price, 8. Will that get me 8 mile? Uh, well, the mile's gone down on there. Uh, we'll check out in a moment to see where it puts the mile that I'm getting. May as well sell all these shovels. It's good in a way because I prefer to have a currency rather than using meat because it gets a little confusing eating meat and trading with meat. Uh, so yeah, it's better that we got mile. Oh, here we go. So the mile's appearing down here in the bottom left. So I've got 90. I don't think I want to sell my drill. Um, let's see. Anything else? Oh, wait a minute. I can sell that blueprint that he gave me for the trade post. I'm not going to sell the pumpkins. Um, okay, there's... No, I don't want to sell that. There, let's sell the trade post script. Because I don't need it. Uh, right, okay, well, that's everything I can sell. I should have enough currency now to fast travel. The thing is, I've got to make sure I've got enough to fast travel back. So let's go to the resources. Stone. Hmm, can sell that for two times. I'm probably better off selling to the shops um, because I'm getting hit by a 15% service charge so let's try selling to someone sh no, I didn't say the map I really didn't want the map I just wanted to close that alright, let's see if I can find someone and open their shop because then we won't have to pay the fees Oh, I thought Agnes had a shop. Apparently not. I'm not getting no option to talk to her. What about one of these? I'm sure Agnes had a shop. No shop there. Anthea? No. Careful there, I'll protect you. Eve oh, Bataro's got a shop, definitely. So let's talk to hey. him. Right, now let's see if he gives... Oh, yep, yeah, they've all been updated with this new Mari currency. Cool. So now... Do I want to sell the stone? I'm going to need a lot of this new currency. Oh, yeah, we got lots of stone. So how much has he got? 4,000. So I've got much too much to sell to him, so let's do no. Let's click on it and choose 2,000. There we go. Right, that's given us plenty of money for fast travel. Okay, let's get started on this quest. So again, let's try and go to the native relic. There we go, that's much better. And see how long it is before we die. Not being pessimistic, but I don't believe fruit offering is going to work somehow. Although it is a nice gesture. Especially after all the uh, local natives we've already been killing. Let's 
Okay, so here we go. Let's follow the quest marker in the top right mini map. Looks like I've got a few followers with me. One from a quest, no doubt. Okay, actually, why am I doing this the slow way? Because I believe I've still got my plane and it's full up with energy. So let's go there in style. All right, not style, let's fly there. I hardly think a wooden plane is style. Oh, now I've got to try and remember how to fly it. Oh yeah, space bar, that's right. Yeah, this is a much better way to travel. Oh, is this the Pujin camp? Let's have a look on the map. Oh, it is an all. Okay, so really... Oh, bugger, see that? They're shooting at me. That ain't a great start. They certainly aren't going to accept no peace offering if they're not even going to let me get near. But let's save it. Because this is obviously going to be a death scenario. I'll save it there. Okay. Now, let's see if I can land before they blow me up. I've just got to remember. What was it? Alt to land, I think, was it? I really can't remember. Left alt, descend. Yep, there we go. So, left alt, let's get down before they destroy. Careful there, I'll protect you. Oops, that was a bit of a crash landing, but never mind. Eki gets me out. Let's pick it back up, because it is useful. Right, okay, so they're hostile. How on earth am I supposed to give them through? But I'm still going to try. I'm going to run through them and see what happens. Get to the quest point. If I live long enough. I don't know. That's a nasty big gun there, that's for sure that they got. Okay, so here we are. Let's... Oh, we got their attention now. Yep, we certainly have. Ooh. Look at that. Check that out. Isn't that cool? Shame we don't understand him. But he's not being aggressive. Oh, he's asking us a question. Of which I have no clue what the answer is. It's probably... You are going to die in the most horrible way. Or how would you like to die in the most horrible way? So, well, let's just put the fruit on the ground and slowly back away. Do not draw your weapon. Who, me? No way. I agree with what you're saying. Okay, let Agnes place the fruit. Oh, his patience is going to run out. Well, let's get out of here and see if it results in it. Right, cool. Okay, time to run. I'm going to run. I'm not going to try and place my aircraft yet. I just want to get away. Because I don't want my um, followers to keep dying and wasting all their health and food and everything. So, return to the colony and talk to Ataro. Let's see if we can teleport and get this done nice and quickly. Yeah, we can. Cool. Don't know if it's been a success yet, but they didn't uh, kill, kill us. They were talking, the commander was. So, that definitely means that we can negotiate with them. Even though the big gun did try and shoot down my plane, I think that was just in defence. Okay, so let's see. Ah, there's a question mark. That means someone has got an update for us. It's just finding them. I think they're on the roof. Yeah, there they are. They're up there on the roof. Is that Batars on the roof? Okay, well let's go around this way and then I can fly up on the roof. There we go, Isbatar. 
Right, let's talk to him and get an update. How's it going? And we're still alive. So, no thanks what happened? to you. Did they display any friendly behavior? Nope. They didn't shoot at us if that Yes, they did. Mean. They shot a big bolt of something at us. How did they react to the offering? No, I don't know. How would you react if some aliens dropped off something mysterious in front of you? We'll have to wait and see how this plays out. Again, they didn't shoot at us, so that's a positive in my book. Yeah, it is actually. She is quite right. Okay, so that being done, what now? Do we have to wait a certain amount of time um, before we get an update? Let's check the map, see if... No, so... Ah, there is a quest up there I'm gonna, I need to grab. But for now, I think I'll end this episode here because I really have no idea whether I need to just wait or, or what I need to do. Um, it was like not knowing about that fruit offering so in the end I didn't need to have fruit in my pocket because um, because uh, she just left it on the ground so you know the NPC had the fruit okay though but I'm gonna leave it here because I don't know if I need to wait I need to just uh, explore a bit and find out what happens next I don't want to bungle along like I normally do uh, I want to try and show in 2017 a little tiny wee bit of um, knowing what to do instead of the usual 100% incompetence wherever you are in the world god bless you and keep every last one of you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye <laughs>